During the last few weeks, years of preparation, design, testing and hard work have accumulated in this impressive site. The 56 meter tall Ariane 6 rocket on its launch pad, all set to light up and soar to space for the first time. As Ariane 6 stands tall on its dedicated launch pad, Tony Tolka Nielsen, Acting Director of Space Transportation, looks back at a successful campaign. We started the inaugural flight campaign of Ariane 6 four months ago. And a campaign like that uh, of a first flight, you do encounter quite a lot of anomalies. The team has proven very, very uh, good in solving these uh, anomalies with a focus on maintaining the schedule. As the launcher itself was put through its paces over the last months, technicians were also getting the payloads, such as the re-entry capsules, ready for flight and putting them on the launcher adapter before placing them on top of Ariane 6. After the passengers were placed at the top of the rocket, technicians performed a wet dress rehearsal, whereby the rocket was filled with over 180 tons of supercooled propellant, well below minus 250 degrees Celsius. Now that we have done the wet dress rehearsal successfully, we are ready for launch on the 9th of July. This is, of course, the moment which teams from ESA, France's space agency CNES, and rocket designer and manufacturer Ariane Group have been working towards tirelessly. They will finally see how Ariane 6's engines will be ignited, rumble, and then a roar as the rocket rises from the launch pad and soars towards space, taking less than 10 minutes to reach Earth's orbit and then onwards. Soon, the countdown will begin. Ariane 6 and the teams are on ground, ready for liftoff. <laughs>